Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick and in today's video I'm going to share with you a reversal pattern setup that I tend to trade. It's known as the Quasimodo. In a second I'm going to jump over to the charts and show you examples of trades I've taken recently. In return for this, all I ask is you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and continue supporting the channel. Okay, so before I give you the examples, I just want to explain to you what we're looking for with these reversals. A reversal essentially is a breaking structure. So we need a breaking structure. We need to have structure first, right? So what we've got here is that this is a reversal pattern. I'm going to explain to you what we're looking for and show you a few more examples. What we've got here is structure from here on the, um, on the upside here, pushing down. Price is just pushing down, right? This is GB, it's a trade I took recently. I don't catch the whole move. I caught some of it. And that's why I've um, decided to look at, um, I, I decided to uh, spend some more time investigating and reading these patterns because look at this move. This is an amazing move. So I really want to be a part of this. So anyway, back to what I was saying, we have structure here, price is pushing down and it slowed down here. So I go sideways. Okay, so that's the first indication that we may be looking at a reversal when price slows down. So what then happens is we have this low here and we're looking for price to indicate that it wants to go back up, right? So what we have here is price goes up here, fakes up and pushes down, right? And gets underneath that low. That low is a key area, okay? And I'll explain to you what, why that's important in a second. So it pushes back down fakes down then pushes up okay now this is on m30 on m30 and i'm showing this as an example i will zoom in and show you uh, different examples of different time frames in a second so it pushes back up pulls back down into that same key area which i mentioned i just mark that out here that same key area here hit tags it and then it moves off okay so essentially what we're looking at here is a Cosimodo pattern this is the left shoulder uh, this is an inverse Cosimodo by the way this is the left shoulder this is the head and this would be the right shoulder so left shoulder fakes down pushes up aggressively beating some supplies um, a supply zone here so again this works in accordance with uh, supply and demand it beats this su uh, supply zone here pulls back into this demand which caused the push up and your entry is on the left shoulder here okay once you buy that your stop is underneath the lows here the head and you're taking it up that is the move yeah that's what we're looking for left shoulder head right shoulder this is on the inverse if it was on the opposite direction which this potentially could be we're looking at left shoulder head right shoulder right there's no breaking structure here so i'm not convinced that this is a reversal so that's why i'm not involved in that but um that's what we're looking at here yeah so i say it's also important like one, one thing you need to take into consideration or bear in mind is that you can actually see this reversal pattern on any time frame. So if we go into M1, we can see a reversal pattern probably just here. You know, yeah, probably is one just right there. That's what pushed it down. Um, how do you know what to trade and what not to trade? The key to knowing what to trade is wait for price to end up in a key area here. Yeah. So the best way to do that is to work with the higher time frame. So M30 will show you exactly what I'm talking about in terms of finding a key area. Finding your actual trade, I find I found this trade on M5, right? I'm going to zoom out and show you why this is a key area. So let's go to H1. No, let's go to daily. Okay, so this is where the trade was. Let me just box that up so you can see. This is where that reversal pattern is, and that was our entry. And if you look to the left, you see 
this is a key area so we've been trending up as I mentioned in the last few videos this then pushed down here price then uh, pulled up pushed down here and pushed up so we have a demand zone here so when price returned from this high is returned to this demand zone here if anyone was looking to buy uh, the GU this is a good place to buy it at um, the last uh, demand where aggressive or strong buyers were found so when price entered this zone where there was aggressive strong buyers it started producing a reversal pattern known as the Quasimodo so this key area plus the reversal pattern plus the things I mentioned in terms of the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder that's all the confluence you need there's no indicators, it's still reading supply and demand it's very simple as you can see once you apply all these things and put it all together it's easy to identify a Cosimodo pattern okay so I don't tend to trade them often because you know when you go looking for them um, you can see them everywhere on any time frame but what I've started doing now is keeping an eye, an eye out on the higher time frames for these patterns and when I do see them you know I get involved like I said I did take this trade um, there was news out so I was a bit worried I don't jump straight in news was around here and when the news broke it pushed it up when I saw it coming down I knew straight away it was going for the left shoulder I bought it and I took some of this and I think I took partials all the way up um, in terms of TP you could aim for a few areas so you could look at liquidity okay so in terms of TP if you want a, a reasonable TP my first TP will be to beat these highs here okay so that's what we're looking for to beat the previous highs there's a high there there's high here and there's highs on to the left so the first high I would like to beat is this one here yeah so first TP if you're scalping would have given you 55 pips yeah second TP from this entry here would be these highs and that would have given you 200 pips as you can see price did continue and it's gone all the way up to the next opposing area and it's gone all the way up to 330 points currently and it's slowed down because it's now in a higher time frame supply zone and it's slowing down yeah so it potentially can continue beating all these highs here because basically there's liquidity above here there's people stop losses here it could be all of these highs here and head up to this higher time frame supply which is what I boxed out and it's a key area that I'm keeping an eye on it could do so or it could start pulling back down heading back towards this demand there is news due out today so we're going to find out what happens with that but basically this is what we're looking for in terms of reversal so the first area that's one second key area to take uh, TP at would be here and then probably just leave a runner to see where it goes okay so that's GU I did take some of this I didn't take it all and after <laughs> after I saw this I realized I needed to hold it more so I'm going to show you an example on silver now and this is something I hold a little bit longer again not long enough but this is another buy example on silver so if I zoom out again H1 I think I can see it on H1 actually where did I see this I think it was on the daily I found it on the daily but we could, uh, we could just about see it on the H1 anyway okay so I took my entry around here so yeah this is this uh, just zoom out a little bit more okay so price have been trending up it slowed down consolidated and it left a lot of liquidity here right it started pulling down and it pulled down to if you take a look to the left so our entry let me mark out our entry this is where we got the reversal pattern here yeah so that's our that's the price action we're going to zoom into and show you exactly what we're talking about in a second so um that's where we've got the reversal here if you look to the left again you can see it's the same thing we saw on the on gu it's a key area this is a demand 
that push price up aggressively. So again, when price gets underneath these lows here and enters this demand, silver is at a discount. This is whoever wants to buy uh, silver and take it higher, this is a good place to uh, purchase it at. So that's the way you have to look at these markets. It is, this, this is an exchange where, buying and, uh, where buyers and sellers meet. Sellers want to sell it from the high here at a premium and buyers want to buy it at a discount. You need to remember that when you're trading. Anyway, so let's get back to this. The, 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 so this is the trade I took on silver. So the same setup as you can see. Um, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the candles. Don't need to see the candles. Candle patterns are not that important. But yeah, to ease your fears. All right, so here we are. So prices are coming down, slows down around here. This is a key area. Why is price slowing down there? You look to the left, you can see it's in the it's in the demand zone, right? Um, so it slows down around there. It then creates it's I mean it's really slow choppy price action. It creates a head, it pushes down here. And pushes up so how do we know now this is a reversal pattern we've got the key area slowed down here that's potentially our left shoulder if this is a, continu a continuation of a downtrend it should push down here pull up and continue down but it just didn't want to do that it just stopped there and pushed up so there's a breaking structure here right here there's a breaking structure so when price pulls back down to this zone that broke structure that's where I looked at my entry. Looking to my left, looking at this as a potential left shoulder, which is where you want to enter from. When price broke structure here and pulled back down, I took an entry here and had my stop loss there. So in terms of risk to reward, so my entry here, I was risking about eight points on silver. And my first TP, can't remember how much I held it to, but my first TP should have been to here, which would have been 36 points. I think, yeah, actually I got it for about 25 points. I can't remember exactly, but I got it for about 25 points. Again, I didn't hold it because there was news out. It was running about the same time as GU. I jumped out of this and jumped into GU. So, um, there's news around here and I didn't know what was going to happen but GU I saw what was happening clearer silver was the first time I traded silver so I didn't want to hold it too long I just got a decent return about 25 points so maybe there yeah that's it that's exactly it so this high would have been my first TP yeah so entered there beating this high would have been where I wanted it so um, would have got 20 points left the runner and got maybe 25 or so so the same pattern as you can see beats the first tp second one would have been 36 points of silver higher one would be 72 points and if you zoom out again you can see it ran considerably it ran from these lows all the way to these highs which is what's that 90 points 90 points of silver risking about seven points so you know really really good uh, risk to reward and um, if you look for trades that give you uh, better risk to rewards this is a really good uh, setup um, like I said they they do print these setups quite often and they sometimes do not hold sometimes it's a um, it's just a trend continuation that's just stored generating liquidity but when these do hold you know you may take um, two or three losses trying to find these trades but when they do hold you get all those wins all those losses back and some so you do need to be patient with these they are not as uh, then they're, they're decent win rate I mean I think it's in the 70s in terms of uh, the win rate but it's not as good as the scalper strategy I showed you on the H1 so I'm showing you this now because this is something I'm going to be throwing into my trading um, this and the H1 strategy, both of them together, that's all I need. Those two, a scalping strategy and a reversal strategy, a reversal strategy, and that's it. So that's silver. 
I'm going to show you uh, one I just took last night. So I took that silver one last week. This one I took last night. And this is a buy example on NAS. So again, I haven't, I don't really trade in NAS. I don't really trade silver. So I didn't hold, well, I actually held this one a lot longer. But I, I don't really look for moves on these in, indices or these commodities. But it's applicable everywhere. So again, here's here's our um, here's where I took the trade. And I'm just going to mark it out, just box it for now, and then I'm going to show you. It's exactly the same thing what we're looking for. So higher time frame. Let's see if we can see on H1. Yeah, we can see on H1. All right. So on the higher time frame, we can see silver's been trending down. Yeah, it's hit these lows and it's just been consolidating these lows, just shooting up bouncing up and down some people hate consolidation i love consolidation because it's just supply and demand look this is demand shoots up the supplier comes down to demand shoots up the supplier and it's back and forth if you know how to read supply and demand this is great for you but anyway um so key area this is our trade here and if you look to the left you can see this is a key area why because this is where uh, so um was this NAS was sold down from aggressively it pushed down to create new lows so when price came up to there it could either beat it and go on to the next zone or it could reverse and try and fill this gap it left in its rise to go in there right so when it got there I had my eye on it okay so if we mark that out yeah let's mark that out when, when it got to this zone here I had my eye on it in terms of having potential to reverse okay so let's zoom in there so price hit that uh, point yeah that could have been a scalp that would have been a scalp for me normally hit that point got up to top here and it started slowing down so what we're looking for we're looking for a left shoulder which we do have here hold on where are we gone okay so we're looking for a left shoulder which we have here a fake breakout which is the head and then we're looking for a breaking structure okay so as you see it just consolidated a little bit then it broke so this is structure here and as you can see it just broke structure here yeah that means that this supply beat that last demand if it wanted to continue up it would have stayed in this demand and continued up but where did it faked up came down and beat that last demand now it can go to this demand and continue up from there so that's the um, risk with this trade but what it did is hit that demand uh, beat that demand pulled up right onto our left shoulder mark out the left shoulder so pull that right into our left shoulder and start selling it again so entry could have been here and your stop loss would have been above this head above the head here which is only i think that would have been about 26 points on the nas something like that uh, and then tp your first tp will be to the opposing opposing force in this case would be in this demand zone this demand first TP a modest TP would have been there so you could have got 71 points there on NAS um, and if it beat that demand the next demand is down there so that could be your ultimate target so you could take in that all the way down to this zone here got out just about there which would have been about there and that would have given you 162 points so i actually this uh i actually took this just last night i'll just show you a comp this is one i held okay so the others i did not hold but after you know missing two two big moves i thought i'm definitely gonna hold this one and as you can see i ran it all the way down to today and i decided to get out of the position as it was just slowing down and there's news due out today and we never know how that news is going to play out so i took it from here um, i got it way before the um, right shoulder i just got it all the way at the top here 
I did believe this was a potential reversal and that's why I got in quite aggressively here but let's say if you took uh, well let's go with my entry so I'd got I took it there got out put some of my position there first uh, TP as I said 90 points there then I held runners it got down to this next demand here this demand here because it could have bounced from there that was 142 points and I just left the runner and just kept them going 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 and it was about a 195 point move in total so that was a very good trade for me last night and this is why I really wanted to share this video because I found benefit in this and I wanted to share that with you so you could also you know enjoy the fruits of my labor so I hope you appreciated that um, I think I cover most of the things. It needs to be in a key area. Left shoulder, fake, a fake out, which has created the head. A breakage structure, pulls back, right shoulder, enter the right shoulder. And TP is any opposing force. So that's one, that's two, and down here is the third. Any opposing force. And uh, stop loss is just above there. So I think I covered everything. Um, if there is any questions, if I have missed anything, hit me up in the comment section and if you did appreciate this video and you do find this content useful hit the subscribe button hit the like button support the channel i keep on getting these videos out to you so i'm going to wrap it up there i hope you've enjoyed this and until next time this is patrick signing out peace